and me. I'm continuing on with that really long haul video that I've been doing. I'm just doing it this way because I don't want, you know, tiny little videos. And um, I'm just going to make this the last one. And I'm just going to edit them all together because I am personally ready to upload it and get it sent to, um, or uploaded to YouTube and let you guys see what I have. So I'm going to show you everything. Um, uh, some stuff haven't finished coming in. Like I'm just waiting on some autographs from Wizard World and um, Galaxy Con and stuff. But honestly, I am just getting tired of waiting. So maybe I'll just do an autograph collection video or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. I'm gonna go and do the video right now. Um Okay. Uh, can you see? Alright. Whoa. Nope. Hold on here. Technical difficulties with positioning the camera. So you you probably see it. Okay. Well, so I'm using my phone. <laughs> okay. Well, it's better than nothing. So I have an, another manga series. This is Peach Girl by Miwa Ueda. I think that's how you say her name. Um, one of my friend or a former friend of mine who I went to summer camp with, she got the first two volumes for my birthday. She's like, this is a really good series, you're gonna like this. And then I bought three and four. So I have the first four volumes. I've had them for years now. And I've finally gotten volume five. I've decided to finish collecting the series. I think there's only eight maybe volumes. And then there's like a sequel series. It's actually really good. Like it's it is shoujo, which is like girls uh manga and it is a romance and it is rated they've rated it teen T for teens, thirteen and up. This is an older manga, so it's this company doesn't even exist exist anymore. It's Tokyo Pop. When was this printed? Oh, that's 2005. So, I mean, 15 years ago, but a while back. So I was in, I was just wrapping up middle school and getting ready to start high school. So, as you know, um, I'm a pretty big Dragon Ball series fan. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and not really GT. Sorry, any GT fans out there, I just didn't care for that storyline, but I did like Super. Um, so I've had seasons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9 for years, and I've finally picked up season 6. Because uh, I've been doing a rewatch of Dragon Ball Z, and actually a lot of a few anime I did, Vampire Night... Um, I'm doing Ranma one half, Cowboy Bebop, Sailor Moon, like classic anime series Sailor Moon. I rewatched Crystal already. I reviewed that. Um, and I think that Ranma one half, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z. I did finish watching the anime of Dragon Ball Super for the first time, so that wasn't a rewatch. Um, Cowboy Bima, Vampire Night, I think that's it. So, but yeah, I finally got this because I can't do a complete series rewatch without this part, and then I will get season eight eventually. And these were super cool finds. Um, this is a series called Magic Knight Rare Earth. Um, this is the manga by Clamp. And this is in Japanese. And this is really cool. 
and it's got this really pretty like cover. I don't know if the English covers had this, but you can take off the little slip here, which we don't have. I'm kind of jealous that they have it. And check out that. Oh, wow. I didn't see this. This is volume two, maybe? Yeah. Uh, there might be color. Yeah, there's some like color pages. This is really cool. I'm gonna have to like read this. I don't. I was studying Japanese, but I wasn't very good at it, let's be honest. Um, but I think this would be a fun way to try and relearn it. We'll see. Although, this is, I think later half of this series so that my it's been so long since i've read or watched magic night readers as well so i might have to do a reread of this series along with peach girl and maybe i can review that i kind of want to reread vampire night too because um i was enjoying my rewatch and then here's the other volume this is number one. And they have, like, each girl looks, like, kind of featured, like, prominently. And the other, then the other two in the background. And in the back. So I have to, like, show these off. And this is upside down. So I might have to fix, like, the book inside and maybe fix the cover unless that's how it's supposed to go. I could be wrong. <laughs> and then uh, okay so one item is like holding the camera up so I'm gonna have to do that later I'll just do autographs I finally got the Sam Whitwer I think is how you say his last name signed Darth Maul Funko Pop he was the voice of Darth Maul in Star Wars The Clone Wars which is an anime the animated series that if you guys haven't seen it is in like a plastic case i don't like this particular plastic case i want to get the like funko brand plastic case the thicker plastic i like that one better but it it's signed so it just says to me his name he didn't like put any quote or anything there um he might have if i met him in person but i got this through galaxy con the virtual con that they did and I got to do like the video chat with him so I finally got the pop and then I have like the certificate of authenticity here and then the, there's the sticker thing that they put on there's like the sticker that shows it's authentic somewhere on here well I don't see it it might be covered by the certificate. <laughs> but that's mall. And then I did get a couple more. I've been doing these virtual cons. You've seen those already. Um, virtual cons a lot because I figured why not? Comic cons are pretty much being done this way anyways. So it's the only way I can do it. And um, I've gotten to do like a lot of people who haven't been able to come to phoenix because they haven't been invited or whatever reason um they haven't been invited for or they have and they haven't been back in years and i never got the autograph because i wasn't watching a show type of thing Let's see. Okay. Alright, I'm... Did we do Billy Piper? I think we did. Yeah, I think all the Doctor Who was in the last video. Okay. So, here's an example. Um, here is Kristen Bauer. And she signed a picture of Pam from True Blood. Um, I met her in person. And yes, I did do the video chat too. 
because it was at my very first convention. I didn't have a lot of money and I only paid for the photo op. And it was like 20 bucks at the time, so that was crazy. But I never got an autograph from her. And I do have a, another one, but I'll show the other one in a separate video for a specific reason. But here's the True Blood one. I do like this show. It might be weird to some people, but I really like it. Um, and she's one of my favorite characters in the show. Um, so yeah, I haven't been able to see her in, since then. So I decided, why the heck not, get the autograph. Um, another person who, he's never been to Phoenix as far as I know, or at least... He might have come to a con and I just wasn't, like those ace cons that they do. They've had a couple in Phoenix. I've been to one. And it's so expensive, so I don't know if I'll do that one again. Maybe if they do uh, Chris Evans, uh, sorry. Or something like that, or Elizabeth Olsen. Like, characters from Marvel that I really want to see because I know like those guys aren't going to come to the Phoenix comic-con um because they're just too expensive so i might do them just because it's only i'll get to meet them but um here is and michael coulter or mike coulter sorry and he played luke cage in marvel's jessica jones the defenders and luke cage so and then i also got um kristen ritter um, autograph of Jessica Jones. Um, who is so nice, super cool. I did get to chat with her. I didn't, when I met her in person, I felt really rushed with her line when I was at Ace because I didn't meet her and I got her autograph, and that was the only thing I, did, I had gotten. Um, she signed like a art print I had of her and uh her Je oh Jessica Jones and Kilgrave um and I, had, I had David Tennant sign something Doctor Who when he was there because he was there too and I really wanted to do like a photo op with the both of them but I only did the David Tennant one um let me show you that one here this is old it's not new see um this was the convention that I'm talking about Ace um it's they have ones in different cities, I think. Um, but, and then Phoenix, Arizona has like their own convention, um, which is really fun. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's pretty affordable too. I like going to that one because it is. But Ace rushed Kristen's line for some odd reason, which is weird because I feel like David Tennant had the longer line because they had Jessica Jones and Doctor Who fans there. So yeah, but speaking of Doctor Who, here's a like digital photo op of me and Billy Piper, my favorite person ever, along with uh, another person. I have two photo ops already with digitally through GalaxyCon. That's why I like this like GalaxyCon by the way for these um, virtual ones, is you can get this, and you get to keep your video chats, whereas some of the other like wizard world i did a video chat with them and i never got to keep it and they didn't do like a picture or anything like that galaxy con's the best and you get to pick the photo you want signed you can't really do now you can i think with wizard world at first you couldn't so but yeah but here's really oh she's awesome i didn't cry this time <laughs> first time i met her busted into tears I was dressed like Rose Tyler too. I don't have the photo op with me in here. This is my, I call it my, my great big book of autographs and photo ops. And it's got this super cute um, art print um, of Rose and the doctor. And I hope one day they get this signed by Billy and David whenever we do conventions in person. You can send them in. Like, GalaxyCon just started doing an option where you can send in, like, you take your item, you ship it to GalaxyCon, and then GalaxyCon will ship it to the celebrity. But I'm like, I would totally do that, except, um, 
so much of my things are kind of like well, I have a lot of like fungal pots and stuff so I'd have to buy like cases for them to keep them protected and then it's just it feels like it costs more to do it that way so because like some of my Funkos don't have a case the only ones that do are the autographed ones and my most of my once upon a time ones because I want to get those autograph at some point in time. Um, so, hold on, guys. Let's see if I can do an old switcheroos. Because, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I apologize for this. Sweet. That worked better. So, the final item is. I think it's like a statue. It's called a Z. It's a Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Son Goku, Ultra Instinct Z battle figure. And yeah. And I. So that's all I got. That's cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!